Good morning. The the character fan here, right? So, some Manchester United be right? So, right, so according to Mike McGrath from the Telegraph, he's saying that I don't want Pesaka to West, to West Ham is off. <sighs> this this other transfer window is going brilliantly, isn't it? Can't sell Scott McTominay, and now we can't sell can't sell Adam Bissaka. Fantastic. For me, if, if I rate this transfer window out out of ten, <sighs> I'll take about this early actually. Do what? Do what? I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give it a two. I'm sorry. Lenny Yardup was great, but he's injured. Like Joshua Zerksy, we, we we've not seen Joshua Zerksy. We, we've not seen enough of him to, to comment on. So for me, it's a two two out of ten. <sighs> And was it Mike McGrath said that West Ham are going to look 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 to sign um, Kieran Trippier? Well, he's I think he's thirty four. or he's I think he's on high wages as well. Then Adam Abusaka, which doesn't make sense, which doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, it's weird. Um, disappointed yet again. I I am I'm worried about about the new season now. I really am. Um, Got no right back, apart from Delo, and got no midfield. So, oh, and, we, and we've got no forward because Rasmus Holland's injured. Injured. Going swimmingly well, isn't it? Fantastic. <sighs> what will today bring? God knows. For a British man who repeated himself last night about a uh, about Matisse Lecht being the priority, um, we knew that about five weeks ago. So for me. I did want to do a video yesterday because it was rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Although, there's a report from Mank World, Mank World saying that United have made an approach for Barcelona for Frankie de Jong. No thanks. Do not want. He had his chance. When was it? Two years ago. He did want to join us now. So why does he want to join us? Join, join us then? Why does he want to join us now? Kind of thing. So, I mean, we're basically in the same position. When, when, when we tried to sign him two years ago, we were in the Europe. Yeah, yeah, we were in the Europa League. Weren't we? Yeah, we were in the Europa League. I remember now, and um, I don't, I don't know what's changed. Does he want to play for Eric, Eric Tanag again? I mean, he had the chance two years ago, like I said. Also, is it Markin? What's his name? Markin Bolker said that Angel Di Maria hates Manchester so much he won't watch him on the TV. Um, and he said he didn't have one. He doesn't have one. <coughs> Excuse me, he doesn't have one good memory of his time at the club. I think I have one. Oh, the goal gets Leicester. Oh, the chip. Oh, it was magnifique. What else? Who? Oh, his, his, fir did his, his first all half a goal gets Everton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was game when De Gea made that all class save. Yeah. Um, what other? What other game did he score against? Um,. Yeovil and the FA Cup. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scraping here, people. But th those are the three memories that, that I can think of. Funnily enough, it, is it 10 years ago? That, yes, 10 years ago. Mm, is it next week? Or is it the week after? Is it since when, when we signed Daniel Di Maria? Yeah, because we signed him, then we lost 4-0 against MK Dons. Yeah, well, that went well, didn't it? Funnily enough, Johnny Evans started in that game. And, um, yeah, God, 10 years ago... When we signed Angel Di Maria, to be fair, I was excited when we got him. D d d this was way before I did videos on YouTube, and um, yeah, he, funnily enough, he was man of the match in the in the Champions League final a couple of months before, and yeah, it's a shame how how it ended. But oh well, that's his choice, right? So you can tweet me at Mandy Twenty Twenty Two. Subscribe to the channel, the the Carrick Fan Combo, like the deal to get. Adios.